Hi my name is Jack Hodgins, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to give you some updates on the quad build. So, so far we built the frame from the previous video, um, YouTube video we did. So we're going to actually look at start fitting the um, the ESC speed controllers. So I've brought the DYS, all the comments, all the details below. And if you look on my website, I now have shown all the stuff I'm purchasing and buying the specs. And stuff for this. So that's this is the the ECC. They're programmable. This is version two, 30 amp. So we're going to have these. Um, obviously, these going to be fitted onto um, uh, the the quadcopter like that. Obviously, underneath so we'll, we'll get it done nicely. Sold to the board. I find that the, there's lots and lots of cable on the end. So you've got three black cables, and also I've got the motors as well to go on. So I've got six motors these are the AMGs the MT2216 motors and, and I do believe it's 810k so I've got the highest well not the highest I could get but reasonably highest anyway we'll try these out they're quite tall motors and they do fit nicely on the arms um, so what we're going to do is obviously there's a lot of cable there I don't want to have access cable um, running up and down the arms I want to do this really nicely so I'm going to actually uh, Cut cut the cables aside. I'm going to cut a little bit off here and a little bit off here. Solder them together with proper heat sink stuff, so they actually fit nicely uh, on the arms and uh, underneath. And there's no excess cable, so they're nice and tight. And we will do the same with these. We'll cut these ones down to the, to the size and solder them onto the right joints on the board. So it's a, it's a perfect fit. I'll leave a little bit of access for um, move, movability. Um, and say same on this side here, but won't leave too much for it to dangle because I've seen builds people do, and there's so much cable where they've, they're like dangled it around and it looks very untidy. So there we go. So we got there's the motors. Um, comes with nice big, big blades. So I'm gonna make sure when they're on, they're not too big. They actually get in way of the others. I just thought about that actually. So um, I'll see with them. No, no, there's plenty of gaps between them, so they're not gonna actually um, touch each other. So they're the blades. Um, each pack I got come with um, a spare a spare blade as well. And you obviously got the these motors can be um, I think they can be um, moved about. So they can be a counterclockwise or counterclockwise. So you can choose. Um, I've got a little pack of screws here. So I'm just going to have a quick nose at what these are. These are uh, I think these ones allows you to fix the blades on top. We can get the packet open, which we'll should do in a sec. Uh, so it comes with all the screws, stuff you need to put the motors on the arms. Um, and it comes with all the bits of plates. So obviously, that will then get fixed on top of there. And then uh, once that's then fixed on, um, they're, they're obviously not, um, what do you call it? They're not. Um, uh, uh, like the phantoms, they're, they're not physically. Um, oh, there they are. They're, they actually screw on as well. So they, they screw on, and with a screw on on the side. So they're not tight. They're not self-tightening blades like the phantoms are. These are very much bolt and screw on. So there you go. That's what it looks like when it's actually attached to the motor. So quite big. I've got six of those uh, boys to put on, and um, that's the first part. That'll be the next part we do next. So I've got my soldering iron now, as you've seen from the previous um, video we've, we've done. So I've got the kit ready. I've just got to pop into Maplins and pick up some heat shrink um, stuff so that when we put this together, I can solder it nicely and heat sink it nicely as well. So we'll show the process of me getting it all cut to size and putting it all on there. And I've got to buy some, I've got some, I think I've got already got some, um, Cable ties, but I think these are going to be, be quite chunky. So I'm going to, while I'm in Maplins, I'm going to see if I can get some smaller ones um, as well, so they're not so chunky, and so we can actually um, do it nicely. Again, if we can keep the weight down as much as possible, then that's going to be superb um, for it. So there's there's the motors. There are okay, nice nice motor there. Uh, that's the EC control. Give you a quick close up. Again, all the all the details on the. Uh, speed controller and the motors can be found on my website, which is uh, www.jackdjiphantom.uk. So you can find the spec and the obviously website you can purchase these from as well. So 
that's all I've got for time for the moment so what we're going to do is I'll get those bits this week and I can then do another video update where we solder these together and mount them on the arms basically and then I think after that we then got to then we'll attach um, the folding the automatic folding um, legs which I've also already have back here um, so they're, they're the folding legs we've got to, got to mount on as well. So that's I'm going to do this. Going to do this really nicely anyway. So they're, they're the folding legs of the controller, um, and I'm just putting some money aside now to save up for the DJI um, flight controller because that's what's going to go into this baby here. Um, so then we're then good to start testing. I'm going to be using my other spare DJI controller, which. Um, I did an upgrade on my Phantom, which then leaves my old controller free to use. So we're going to use this this one here, um, just for the moment for testing with. Then once we've got all the kit on there, then we're going to look at um, upgrading this because I want to put a gimbal system on here, but I want to get another controller with some sort of nice knobs you can twist that allows you to have control of the gimbal uh, movements and stuff. Uh, but for the moment we'll use this for testing purposes with, so it's not wasted. So that's all I've got time at the moment. Um, so until the next one, I can try and keep you posted as much as possible. We'll get a bit more move on with this, and uh, and we'll keep you updated. So again, um, have fun, safe flying, and speak to you later.